covered direct and indirect ELISA. I hope you now understand the basic difference between these two types of ELISA. Today we will study most commonly used format of ELISA which is Sandwich ELISA. Sandwich ELISA is used for the detection of antigens. Most popular application of Sandwich ELISA is point of care testing and home test kits such as home pregnancy test kits. Sandwich ELISA uses two different antibodies for the same target antigen. Important point is that these antibodies recognize and bind to different epilips on the target antigen. Let's understand the details of Sandwich ELISA. Sandwich ELISA requires three main components. Capture antibody. Target or test antigen. And an enzyme-linked antibody. Thus, in Sandwich ELISA, an antigen is trapped between two antibodies. In the first step of Sandwich ELISA, capture antibody is immobilized in the microtiter well. Capture antibody is a high affinity antibody specific to the target antigen. Its function is to capture the target antigen from the test or serum sample. So, after the immobilization of capture antibodies, the microtiter well is rinsed. This is done to remove unbound antibodies present in the well. In the second step, serum sample or test sample is added in the well. Now, serum from a patient may contain many different antigens. But the capture antibody is specific for a single target antigen. If the sample contains the target antigens, they will bind to the capture antibody present in the well. If the specific antigen is absent in the test sample, no antigen antibody binding takes place. Again, the well is rinsed to remove unbound and nonspecific antigens. In the third step, an enzyme-linked antibody is added in the well. The enzyme-linked antibody binds to the antigen. Recall that these antibodies bind to the epilips, different from those bound by the capture antibody. After some time, well is rinsed to remove unbound enzyme-linked antibodies. In the fourth and final step, the substrate specific for the enzyme linked to the antibody is added. Color development confirms the presence of the antigen in the test sample. Sandwich ELISA can be further divided into two types. Direct Sandwich ELISA and Indirect Sandwich ELISA. This classification is based on whether the enzyme-linked antibody is directly or indirectly detecting the antigen. Here, the target antigen is being detected by the conjugated antibody itself. So, this is direct detection. But here, a primary antibody is first binding to the target antigen. And the conjugated secondary antibody is detecting the antigen-bound primary antibody. So, this is indirect detection. That's all in today's lecture. In the next video lecture, we will understand how pregnancy home test kits work. Thank you for watching.